For a time, Cretaceous North Africa had two deadly killers. By exploiting different environments, they didn't compete and could coexist, dominating their chosen habitats. Spinosaurus was a specialist, but this came with risks. Small environmental changes can make it vulnerable. And this area is prone to seasonal droughts. With the rivers drying, Spinosaurus' usual food supply has disappeared. Other animals retreat to a few remaining pools. Some, the Spinosaurus would do well to be wary of. The smaller crocs aren't the problem. Sarcosuchus, a giant 12-meter crocodile. Reptiles like these can survive droughts by effectively hibernating during times of hardship. Spinosaurus can't. As an active hunter, its metabolism demands a regular supply of food. Although it is a specialist, it isn't confined to the rivers. In tough times, it too can hunt on land. Dinosaur fossils from other parts of the world have given us more details about their diets. In 2004, a dramatic fossil was recovered from Brazil, part of the neck of a pterosaur. Embedded within one of the vertebrae was a tooth. It was the unmistakable shape of a spinosaur tooth. The stomach contents of another Spinosaur, Baryonyx, from England, was found to contain some bones of a juvenile Iguanodon, a plant-eating dinosaur. In spite of their specialization, clearly Spinosaurs weren't exclusively fish eaters. But hunting and catching prey isn't easy, particularly when they're already alert.